now that we have a pretty good grasp on what a put out is let's look at something closely related to that and this is called an assist and so whenever we have a, a put out remember that is credited to the player who's responsible for putting the batter or the runner out and an assist go, will go on some on, on plays where it happens to the player who, who helps out or, or who gives an assist to the player who, who gets the, the put out. So we will let's define what an assist is. And this is, is when a fielder throws or deflects a batted or thrown ball in a way that a, a put out results. So this is a, a fielder throws or deflects a batted or thrown ball uh, so that, that the play results in and out. And so let's take a look at a, a just a simple example of that. Probably the simplest way you could we could put it is if we have a second baseman and our first baseman and the batter hits a ground ball to the second baseman and he throws on to the first baseman and gets the out gets the, the, the batter out so in this case the second baseman would get credit for the assist and the first baseman would get credit for the put out so and and, and so, so let's throw out just another quick example we said that it could also occur when a player deflects a ball so for example if we have the pitcher and you'll see this sometime when the balls hit really hard and the pitcher tries to get in the way and or, or sometimes he tries to get out of the way but if he can't then say you know it hits him on the leg or something and it bounces over to the second baseman he picks it up like a like a ground ball and throws on to first base then we would give the pitcher credit for an assist we would give the second baseman credit for an assist and then we would we would of course give the first baseman credit for the put out so we can also say as part of this is is it's also on a play that a, a so we could say it, it's a, a play where the fielder throws or deflects the batted ball so that the play would have resulted in an out had there not been an error on the play so so or would have been would have resulted in an out if not for an error so this would mean in the like the, the situation that we just did if we have the second baseman we have the first baseman we have a ball hit to the second baseman he picks it up no problem and he throws it to the first baseman but for whatever reason the first baseman drops it and, and, and commits the error and the runner is safe at first base the second baseman in this case didn't do anything wrong so he would still get credit for the assist but obviously the runner's safe he would have advanced to first base on the error and we would charge the first baseman in this case with the error the kind of second part to the the rule listed in the rule book is is somewhat obvious but but it's it's thrown in just to just to make sure and th that is when a fielder throws or deflects the ball during a play in which a runner is called out for interference or running out of the baseline so so a we had this this you can just copy this one this definition down basically except for so that the play results in in a runner a runner being called out for interference or running out of the base line and so these are this is uh, 
two situations where you know you say well well basically this is kind of repeating what is set up here because it also results in an out but but technically on this play there's really no put out being being uh, this is credited to uh, a player because the player the player isn't isn't you know making the the put out it would be automatically you know attributed to him so so we just kind of reinforce it by saying that that an assist can also be be uh, uh, you know, given this way. The last thing to remember about assists is that a, a a player can only receive one per play. So a player can only be credited with one put out per play, and and, and this is 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 basically meaning. If there is a rundown, which means that there's a, a player who would be caught, you know, between two bases, and somehow he gets he gets caught in between here. We have the different infielders, and and so what what would happen is this runner, he'd say he's trying to run to third, and then if somehow the third baseman gets a hold of the ball, he and the runner sees this, he'll turn around, you know, and and try to make it back towards second. And when he's doing that, the third baseman maybe throws the ball to the shortstop, and then maybe he'll he'll the runner will see this, he'll turn back around and try to run toward third base again. And and so the the uh, ball will once again be thrown back to the the third baseman. So so basically this could go on, you know, for as long as the runner can can keep it up, and he's hoping obviously that that one of the players eventually drops the ball or, or makes a, a bad throw. So, but but basically what this is saying is if, you know, this goes on uh, a long time, uh, no matter how many times the player touches the ball, he can only be credited with one, and I actually messed this up, this is one putouts was in the last video, so I'm still thinking of that, but this is one assist per play and so that is our definition of assists